Oh, you know what we could do? We could get this ladybug to kill all these ants. Hang on. Yeah, because if you attack an ant, they all come after you. Uh oh. I ain't get the ladybug. Oh god. Okay. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Go after the ants, go after the ants, go after the ants. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play Grounded! So guys, a lot of you guys also voted for Grounded as well as missed on the poll that I had a little while ago. It was about a couple of weeks ago now that I had that. And uh, yeah, I thought because at the very beginning at least of the poll it was quite um, quite heavily in favour of Grounded, I was going to go ahead and do a series on it. So let's go ahead and get going. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be a long series or a short series or whatever you have, but um, if you guys would like a longer series and you like what you see in this uh, in this first episode and maybe the first few episodes, just let me know in the comments if you would like to see longer series. And of course, I will try and oblige as best I can. This is not going to interrupt Mist or Seven Days. It will come out alongside them. So yeah, hopefully you guys are going to get a few more videos coming out soon. So let's go ahead and get started with a new game. All right, so first thing we've got to do is select our difficulty and the team that we want to use. Well, there's one called Max, right? So hey, nice that's the guy you. I'm going to select. The name's Max. There you go. Maxwell Smart. Okay, well, um, Max is, as I guess, as far common as we have. Like, Maxwell is not my name, it's Maximilian, but never mind. And, you know, it's, it's not Smalls, it's Fox. But there you go. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Now, difficult, difficulty setting. There's mild, medium, woe, and creative. Now, for the sake of exploring and stuff and not really having to worry about my vitals i'm gonna go for the mild setting now you guys may think that i'm just kind of trying to you know shrimp out on the tougher opponents but from what i understand mild doesn't actually make the enemies any easier it just makes the stats a little bit more forgiving that's all it does so food and water the only difference between mild and medium is food and water don't go down as quickly in the mild setting so that's what i'm going to go ahead and use uh, instead of medium because i want to kind of focus not really on like oh having to find food and water all the time because that's that's i tried medium and that's what it's like you, you pretty much have to constantly be finding it and i find it interrupts it might interrupt the gameplay a little too much so mild i think is what we're going to go for so let's go ahead and get started and see what's going to await us in the world of grounded guys this is going to be so awesome so let's go uh, what damn where am i are those roots Nah, <laughs> can't be. Oh, this must be one of those, those prank TV shows. An extremely elaborate, realistic prank show. All right, well, guys, what seems to have happened is that we have been shrunk down to the size of a grub. We are it's a tiny. Green corn puff. Oh, look at that guy. He's going. That's that's the little ape that just ran away from us. Ah, oh, look at that giant baseball. That is awesome. So yeah, guys. Essentially, the moral, the, the story goes that we've got ahead and shrunk ourselves, and we are now the size of a yes, tiny little buddy. grub. Starting to think this might not be a prank. Yep. It's not a prank. Gonna be famous Ooh. though. Ooh. <laughs> gonna need an agent, a publicist, ah, a sports car. That ant is going after that aphid over there. That'd be awesome to see. So yeah, what we need to do first is we need to start picking up everything that is around us, right? So that's the first thing I do. I need sprigs. I need these little things, and I need to also go ahead and get sap as well, because that's gonna be interesting. There's also some mushrooms here, which is gonna be an, a good early game food source. So we're definitely gonna grab all those if we can. Um, I want to go out this uh, out this log here because one, we can get on top of the base and have a bit of a look around, but there's also these little tree sap bits on here as well which we're gonna need as well so we're gonna take those so yeah this is up on top of the baseball uh, look at this look at this place guys this is awesome see this this is just grass right so you know like grass doesn't even cut to the top of your shoe in most cases yeah that is that is the grass and that's how small we are now we are absolutely tiny we're smaller than an ant that is absolutely hilarious guys so we have shrunk it down and we are we are we're, we're pretty much midgets so that is hilarious so yeah we have to go ahead and follow this uh, path and there's a little thing over there that we get that we're gonna have to go and investigate and explore so that's what we is gonna do right now so food and water is a thing we have to manage you can see it in the bottom left there um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the food that I have here so I'm gonna eat some of the mushrooms that's in slot six and that should go ahead and fill me up a bit 
Okay. Whoa, look at the size of that egg. Oh, here comes the ants from the hut. The ants from the hut. The ants from the hut. Go on, ants, go on, ants, go on, ants. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see this. Oh, the, the ants are going for this thing. They're gonna kill this weevil. Let's see if. Oh, yes, hey, look. Oh, there, go for that weevil. Look at this. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, the ants just completely destroyed that weevil. Can I get his corpse though before I get his up? Yes, so I got some free food. Look at that. That is amazing. Okay, let's get all these plant fibers and things around here. Because I'm going to need that. So we've come to the um, we've come to the source of the signal just over here. And we've got to go ahead and investigate this in a minute. Now, these ants are... Okay, I guess they won't attack you unless you attack them, so it's pretty good. Although, if you do start killing large numbers of ants, soldier ants will come and find you, and without armor, they will absolutely destroy you. Um, pretty much any bug that's bigger than an ant in this game will absolutely destroy you in a few hits. There's all kinds of nasty things that you got to watch out for. Spiders, especially, are nasty, as well as bombardier beetles, stink bugs. You got to watch out for all these nasty things, which we will eventually see as we go. So, yeah, I definitely want to be a little bit careful here. So, let's go ahead and just have a look around a little bit for a few more resources before we head out so there's some more pebbles here i'm going to go and grab those because we are going to need a lot of pebbles to craft everything we need so i definitely want to make sure that we've got everything going here so the first thing we do is we're going to come into here and we're going to use this thing this is an analyzer well all right someone had to have set up all this sciencey stuff here all right oh we actually got but a weevil still, nose from that guy I'm nice not exactly sure where this is and what is going on okay i should keep looking around yeah, we should keep looking around. But first of all, I want to analyze some stuff. So we're, we're going to go and select this thing, and we're going to say analyze. So we're going to analyze the pebble, and what do we get from this? We get raw science, and we learn to craft a pebble axe, which is going to be the tool we need to use to chop down stuff. So how about the plant fiber? What can we do with that? So we're going to analyze the plant fiber, and this gives us woven fiber, which is awesome. And then we're going to analyze the sprig. And what does the sprig do? Hopefully that's going to give us something nice too. The sprig gives us a spiky sprig and a trail marker. And the trail marker is something I want to set up pretty soon as well. Now, we also have this and this to analyze. However, we can't do it yet because if you look on the right hand side, the charge is now zero. So we have to wait for this thing to recharge. So we just got 60 raw science from analyzing all that stuff, which is very, very nice. I'm going to need to go ahead and get some more sprigs and things because I want to go ahead and craft myself now a pebble axe. So let's go to crafting and I'm going to need a pebble axe. Now, we currently need woven fiber, we can't make it, but if I click on woven fiber and press space, it'll actually craft one, so I don't need to go all the way to the other menu to do it, which is awesome. And there we go, a pebble axe is now mine. Excellent! So we craft that thing, and that's now in slot number two. Haha! <laughs> now the pebble axe, you can actually chop down all this grass and stuff, which is good, which is very cool, because if I need more plant fibers, what I can do is I can go ahead and chop this, and make it go down, and then I can go ahead and chop this. And this will give me extra plant fibers. Look at that. So yeah, now I can get more woven fiber if I need to. So that is very, very cool. You can also pick these little things up for plant fibers as well. What I need to do is get some more plant fibers. There's a pebble over here, but this requires a hammer. And currently I don't have one, but that's the next tool I want to be able to make. I want to make a hammer next, and then I want to be able to use the hammer in order to go ahead and bash those pebbles so I can get some more. Now, it seems the items stack to around 10 each, so there's not uh, there's not a huge amount of room for the items. Um, yeah, it's, it seems most stacked to 10. I think some stacked slightly lower. It just depends on what the item is. Now, these planks of grass here, you can also pick up and move around if you want to i currently don't want to do that because you know that's i don't really think that's necessary at the moment um but you're going to use grass for things like base building and all that kind of stuff which eventually i will get to but as for right now i just want to go and explore a little bit now there's also this this is dry grass and this is going to be useful for some things so let's go and chop this down there you go so some dry grass chunks here and this will give you dry grass chunks and I think some additional plant fiber as well. Um, but yeah, let's go and pick up all these. Now, I want to be very careful and not get too far into this dry area because there are, believe it or not, a lot of nasties in this area. So I don't want to go too far into there. We're going to stay in the more moisture, the more moisture area um, because, yeah, lots of, I can already hear like big footstep noises coming out from over there. So I don't want to go too far away. So yeah, let's stay out there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way back here. There's some more pebbles here and some more fibers right there. So let's go and pick all that up. And hopefully by the time we've done picking up all this stuff, we're going to have a few more charges. Now, the, what I do want to do, though, is I want to make, by our little science station area, I want to make a trail marker there so we can find our way back if we need to, right? Because that's going to be kind of handy. Now, there's also some clover leaves over here, which is nice. But I don't really think I too much need of the clover at the moment. We will be using it eventually, but for right now... I want to go ahead and make my way back into here 
let's see let's first of all analyze some more stuff so I got one more charge so let's analyze the tree sap and the tree sap gives us access to a plant lamp a workbench and a sap sconce and I think I want to build a workbench as well that's gonna be pretty cool um, so let's go and get some stuff done here so let's come out of here so close this and then I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a trail marker so now to do a trail marker instead of crafting it, you have to build it so you press B and then we're gonna go into I think it's this one no, that's a plan lamp, not that one. Maybe it's this one here. Here we go. Trail marker. I want to select this guy. And then we're going to go and left click where we want to put it. And I kind of want to put my trail marker. If I can put it inside here, then I'll put it in here. Because it'll keep it a bit safer. There we go. We'll put it in there. And then we got to right click to cancel it. And then all we got to do is build it. Oh, and that's where we need the clover leaf, right? So now i got to go and get a clover leaf real quick, which is going to be fine. I can chop down some clover from just over here. There's like tons and tons of it right around this area. Oh, God. Okay, there's a, bit, there's a big bird right here as well. Okay, I want to stay outside the bird, because um, I don't know if they can immediately kill me. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, and chop these, okay. There you go, and let's go ahead and use these. Okay, one other difference on mile settings as well is it doesn't take so many hits to chop down a plant, which I kind of prefer, um, makes for just quicker resource gathering overall. Oh, there's, a, there's, a gnat, there's a gnat flying around me. Now these guys can hurt you a little bit, but they don't do too much, they just like kind of nip at you a little bit. But you kind of do need the gnats for their gnat fuzz as well. So it's a husky weed. So, oh, that, that little bugger. Hey, soft flight, all right. Gotcha. Oh, I killed something. What I kill? Oh, I killed, I killed a lawn mite. Okay, I need that mite fuzz. So that's something that's good. Um, so yeah, that that guy attacked me a little bit. Okay, this this gnat is gotta go. Got him. Thank you, Mr. Gnat. And look, there's Nathan over here. I can kill him for fresh meat as well if I want to. Although I don't think I need the fresh meat. So that's all good. All right, so let's come over here. Set up a trail marker. Nice. And then we're going to set that one to... Well, this isn't really our home. It's like a science lab. And we're going to set that to white so it's easiest to see on the map. And then we can come out of there. There we go. So now we got a trail marker. Let's go now and build a workbench as well, because that's going to be handy too. So let's get a workbench done. And where do I want to put that thing? Can I put it inside here? Uh, if I rotate it, can I fit it somewhere here? No, okay, so we're going to need to put the workbench outside in the open, which I don't recommend, but sometimes it's kind of necessary. Uh, so let's go and see if I can put it, like, I guess right there is probably the best place I'm going to get it. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this. So for this, I acquired some sap. There we go. So I need a few sap there. That took a lot. I need a couple of sprigs, and then I also need the grass planks as well so let's go and get the grass planks that i chopped down earlier but before i do anything if you hold them you can actually analyze them so you can actually unlock some stuff so be sure to analyze these there we go and we get triangle grass walls some grass tails and some tri and uh other triangle grass walls and it also um unlocks the webbench as well if we didn't know it um i'm also going to analyze the clover because that will probably come in handy too and that gives us uh, more grass roofs and roof corners and stuff. That's pretty cool. So that gave us a lot. And can we analyze any more? Not yet. So I'll have to analyze the rest later. So let's close that. So let's go and put the planks on here. There we go. And now I just need to find two more sprigs. I'm done. Well, there's a sprig right there. And we should hopefully find another one not too far away from here. Hopefully. We will, we will see what we get. Uh, any more sprigs coming? Come on, sprigs. I need, I, need, I need your assistance now more than ever. So there's clover here. Clover, there's a sprig right there, so I need two sprigs, but I'm going to go, gonna go and collect more if I can, just to be sure. Ooh, there's a big old machine here. Now, we will investigate that in a little bit, but for right now, I kind of want to get set up with a couple of things first before I do that. See, this husky weed, I think that probably gives you wood, I would have thought, or the, um, the weed stems, I think that's what it gives you, um, which is not currently useful for us right now, so yeah. We can't chop that down with our current axe, we need actually a better one to do that, uh, which currently we do not have access to, but... In about 10 episodes time, I guess, we will have access to it. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a while to get to Tier 2. What you're, you're, we're, we're currently at, we're at Tier 1 right now. To get to Tier 2 stuff, it takes actually quite a long time to get to get there. So, yeah, we just got to be patient and go, from, go for it. Okay, so let's see what else is around here. Any more sprigs? Nope, there's some plant fibers there. I will take all the fibers that I can get. There's a sprig right there. And there's another one right next to it. There you go. So sprigs aren't too rare. They can be a little bit tricky to find sometimes, but they're, they're not too bad. Okay, so our water source is okay right now, so we're doing right. Let's go ahead and see. Can we analyze anything else now? No, still not enough charge. So let's go ahead and finish the workbench off. 
And there we go. Now we have access to a workbench. That's so cool. Look, look at look at the look at that. So you got the 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 sap and stuff. That looks like ant mandibles are needed there. That's really cool. So yeah, that's cool. We now have a workbench. Now the other thing I want to do is see if I can craft a pebble hammer, uh, which I can't. But I can craft a pebble spear. So that requires some sprigs, which I have. So let's go and get those. And what does the hammer require? Are we short on what are we short on? Okay, we need woven five for a hammer. So let's go and do that one first, actually. And then we'll craft the hammer. And then we also want the spear, which now requires two more sprigs. Okay. But yeah, now we got the hammer, we can actually start smashing up um, the big pebblets here. So these things right here require the hammer to smash them up. So let's go ahead and smash these. There you go. So I think they take about three hits to take. There we go. Look at that. Now we've got ahead and got ourselves some extra pebbles, which is awesome. So yeah, we can definitely use these if we need to. So that is really cool. Now I want to store some stuff somewhere. And you know what I'm going to do? is I'm probably going to make a storage area up here and I'm going to jump to it. Now, the reason I'm going to make a storage area up there and nowhere else is because when you start storing stuff, ants will start to come and raid your base. Uh, and I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want the ants to get into my storage and throw things away, but I don't want to not have room in my backpack to store stuff because that's just going to be that's going to be a bad a bad day overall. So yeah, uh, I can also roast this nat meat as well. So let's go and do that. Let's build a roasting spit. So we're going to go and do that. So the roasting spit is right here, and I'm going to put this guy right there. There you go. Awesome. And that requires some sprigs, pellets, and dry grass chunks. So I just need to find four more sprigs. So you can see sprigs is kind of like. I guess one of the mainline resources you are going to use in this game, uh, like you are, you're going to find you're going to use a lot of sprigs. So yeah, you need you need to source a lot of them. So let's go and explore a little bit and see if I can find some more. There's clover. Uh, what's that? That is oh some aphid honeydew. I'll take that. We can use that to eat. Uh, so that's actually a good source of water as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Seven. There you go. Yeah, aphid honeydew is pretty much. I, I pretty much just ate bug poo. Um, so yeah, not, not not the greatest thing in the world, but it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, but bug poo is awesome. Uh, okay, that's that's ha that has to be the hashtag for this episode, guys. So, you know we do the hashtags and everything. That is the hashtag for this episode. Hashtag bug poo is awesome. Yeah, I I, I, actually, I actually went there. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it, guys. I know, I know. Okay, don't don't judge me. You guys are all judging me now. You're just like this guy's an idiot. <laughs> this guy's a, this guy's an idiot that likes to eat bug poo. Uh, yes, yes I am. When I'm the size of an ant. Yes, bug poo is the main thing. There's a sprig right there. So yeah, these these, these things right here, I think, are like footprints. Um, these these massive things in the mud here. So yeah, aphids uh, will occasionally drop aphid honeydew, and that's useful for a, a, a variety of things. Um, let's see if I can find more sprigs. Yeah, I see a few more down here. So let's drop that down here and get what I see. So more fibers there, some sprigs. There's one or two over here. I see there's quite a few around this thing. So let's just pick up all the sprigs I can. Uh, do a bit of exploring, and while we're here, I may as well go ahead and investigate. Let's go in. Oh, aphid! Gotcha. Thank you, aphid. Nice. We can we can cook him on our spit as well. Um, so we have to investigate this thing. So apparently there is somewhere to turn on. Okay, there's a target button. Let's push it. Showtime. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Just like laser tag. And look at that. The lasers are turned on. Nothing happened. But something's wrong. Like two lasers are blocked. So let's see. The other two lasers are blocked. All that build up this big mysterious computer doesn't do anything. Okay, so how do we unblock that laser? Well, the second laser, as you can see, is being blocked by this grass blade. So we're going to have to go and chop this down. So let's go ahead and grab this. There you go. Excellent. And that will unblock the second one. There's a, a thing right there. Let me grab that. So there we go. There's that one. And now the third one. Oh, I hear uh, there's an ant over there. What's he going for? The third one, however, is being blocked. Is is much further away and being blocked by something else. So we're going to have to go and investigate that pretty soon. But now let me go ahead and get some sprigs. And look, there's even some more mushrooms right here. So let's go and grab those, and then we'll take them with us as well. Excellent. So more mushrooms, more sprigs. Excellent. Oh, there's another gnat right here. Let's go and kill that guy. Thank you very much. So yeah, we you want to kill gnats as you see them because I'm sure gnat fuzz is useful for something. Hey there, buddy. Okay, so let's see what we got down here. So nothing much down here. This ant is kind of interested because I'm carrying a lot of food now. The ants are kind of coming along, just like, oh, this guy, this guy has food. Well, what's, what's you know, what's, what's this guy all about? So yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and sort that soon. So let's go back to our little our little workstation area over here, and let's go ahead and do some more crafting because I want to go ahead and finish my roasting spit. So let's do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and put our bugs on it. So let's cook some weevil. Let's cook some net. There we go. 
And I guess, I, guess, I guess we can cook some aphid on it if we wanted to, but for right now, we'll cook that up and see what we can do. So now over here, uh, let's see if we can um, unlock a few things. So I have a lot of things to scan still. So let's go ahead and scan the dry grass chunks. So this is going to unlock steam pallets or stem pallets and plank pallets. So that's fine. We definitely want to go for those. Um, let's go and do the raw aphid. What does this thing give us? This gives us access to aphid slippers, which is actually pretty cool. And then I think the might fuzz is something else I want to go for as well. So might fuzz gives us access to armor glue and a stuffed mite. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, we've analyzed pretty much everything we can here. And let's go ahead now and make ourselves some armor if we can. Can we make armor? Let me see. I want to make some some armor. So we need woven fiber for the headpiece. So let's go and make one of those. And let's make a clover headpiece. For the body, we need three woven fiber. So I think I can do all of those. There you go. So now let's make the... Oh, we need six more clover leaves. We only have four. And then the shin guards will require two sprigs. So I can make the shin guards. So I just need a little bit more clover. And then I can make myself some armor, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Because I think getting, getting a first set of armor is going to be really handy for right now. So let's come over here. And let's go start chopping this up. There you go. And my stamina is really low right now. So let's go ahead and just chop a load of this down. Because I will need a lot of clover later anyway. So I may as well just chop this as we go. Because clover is useful for a lot of things. There you go. And then we got a ton of clover now coming down here. So let's go ahead and pick all this stuff up. Because we are going to need it soon. So there's 11. I'm sure, I'm sure more of it dropped around, but I think 11 will be fine. Let's just chop these ones here. 12, 13, 14. Okay, there's 15. And 16, 18. There you go. 18 clover and then some more sprigs. Look at that. Okay, that should be that should be good. Let's go back then over here. It's starting to get dark as well, so we're going to need to build ourselves a... Um, we're going to need to build ourselves something. Oh, the ants are all here. Okay, get, get, away from my, get away from my meat. There you go. Yeah, they, they, see, when you start cooking stuff, the ants will come along and they will start to try to take stuff. So you've got to be very careful. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want them to... I don't want them to take my meat, so yeah, let's not do that. Let's also go ahead and build... Yeah, we got some weaver roast and some nice stuff here, so that's going to be cool. Let's go ahead and now build the um, other things. So we go. We'll build the hover woven fire body, and then we can wear it. Nice. So let's go and equip all this stuff. So one, two, and one more. There we go. And now, can I analyze anything else? Let's see. Uh, I can analyze the nat fuzz. What does that give us? So nat fuzz will give us nothing. Just that and a stuffed nat. So no new rescue from that. And the weevil nose I can't yet analyze just now. So that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and stuff this thing on there as well. Because I'm sure we, we're going to need that. And I guess let's, uh, let's eat. Because we're going to need to. So let's go ahead and consume this. And it slows down the amount of hunger. Which is pretty good. So this gives us the filler buff. And that is awesome. So that should, I think, fill us up completely. There we go. Nice. So the last thing we're going to need to do is build a lean-to. Right? So we're going to get one of those. So a lean-to, I think, is under this guy? Yes, there you are right there. Lean-to is right here. And we're going to build a lean-to just uh, <laughs> next to the science lab here. Uh, without, like, throwing my stuff away. Because uh, that's not what I want to do. Okay, then build that thing. And there we go. And now I can set our spawn point. There you go, respawn point set. So if we die, we come back here. And now, if we want to, we can go ahead and sleep here, which is really cool. So there we go. So now we can sleep there if we need to. And I think we're done pretty good here. So the next thing I want to do is, before we go ahead and sleep, we can't sleep until, like, 2000, and currently it's only 1634. So we are going to go ahead now. We got, the, we got this, we got the hammer. Um, I'm going to make another woven fiber, because I think we can analyze that too. So let's go and make one extra woven fiber for the pure purposes of crafting it. And I think we can analyze this in a minute, because I definitely want to use that. I also want to go ahead and build a set of... I want to build like a set of stairs right here, um, and a jumping area. So if I go build here, can I make stairs yet? Let's see. Um, it doesn't look like I can make stairs yet. I was going to say, I wanted to build some stairs or something. Actually, I can make... Oh, uh, what I can do, look, I can make a grass roof, right? Oh, so let's go and do that. Because what I want to do is make a set of stairs to, that goes up to this rock, but I want to be I want to jump from it. So I'm going to put one right here, and then I'm going to left click. I'm going to cancel this one, 
because I don't want to use that one. And then I need a weed stem and some clay leaves. So there's a clay leaves. Can I walk up it yet? No, nope, I still need the weed stem to finish it off. So we have to find a weed stem. And we're going to need that from a dandelion or some kind of weed. So the dandelions are the tier 1 source of weed stems. And I can see one right over here. So let's uh, look sharp and head over this way. Something over there. Can I jump to this thing? Oh, not quite. Okay, we're not quite, not quite jumpy enough to get there. So I have to go around it. There we go. And then we're going to chuck down this thing. Okay, so I can't use my fists. i got to use my axe. There we go. There we go. So a few of these. So there we go. Eight shots and down it goes. And that'll give me a ton of uh, planks wherever they landed. Huh, that's not this a bit. There they go. They all fell over here. Alright, here we go. So let's go and pick these up because I'm sure we're going to need these. And let's go and pick up these things as well because these things are also useful. So I can only carry up to five things right now. Although later on we will be able to un we will be able to carry and uncover more. So yeah, that that will be a thing eventually. But for right now, let me go ahead and place this thing here, and then that'll build it. And let me just drop the others here. So I think that's I think it's G to drop, right? There you go, so drop all those here. So now what I can do is I think I can step on here and then jump. Oh, I can't quite make it to this rock. I was going to say, I could probably step on this and then jump to this rock over here. Because what I want to be able to do... Yeah, what I wanted to be able to do is to jump there. Uh, what I can use, though, is this thing here, this dandelion thing. I can equip that into my glider slot. So now i got some dandelion tufts. So then if I jump, I can, I can then glide over to it, right? So we're going to do this. Okay, then we're going to jump and glide. There you go. And I can glide over to that. Yeah, so yeah, I can get here. Oh, something, something's going on over there. Oh, there's a ladybug over there. Oh, that's going after something. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and build now, and I'm going to build some storage. Um, and I want to build some storage up here, out of the sight of any ants and stuff. So let's build, like, like so I'd say three baskets so we can have plant-based material, rocks and stuff, Animal based stuff, and then actually, I'll use four, we can, and we can have one for food as well. Right here. Okay, let's go and build these. So they require three raven fiber and four clover leaves. So we're going to need to get a little more clover leaves to make this work, but that's fine. Right, so let's use all of that we have, and let's go and craft some more woven fiber. So that's going to be the first thing we need to do. So woven fiber, let's get a load of this crafting, and I can do at least a couple there. There you go, and I can store some stuff in here. So I think this first one is where I'm going to store, like, bug parts. I'm going to store all those in here, and then, I guess, extra extra daddy line tails and stuff we can store in here. So yeah, bug parts um, and, and food and stuff is all going to go in there. So that'll eventually rot away, I guess, though, so that's a shame. But there we go. So then i got to go ahead and get some more of the stuff. So let's go ahead and get some more. So I need more plant fibers. Which well, shouldn't be too hard to get. I can chop down more grass to get those, or I can just find them laying around. But I also need more clover, so we're going to have to go and source some more of that. So yeah, like I said, I thought I picked up enough clover, but I guess not. So let's go and pick up a few more of these. Wait, that's grass, but I guess I can chop all these down. There you go. And then chop these out. And that'll give me a ton of plant fiber there. There you go, got six plant fiber there. That's two more woven fiber. So yeah, I do, I do need a lot of this. So let's get some of this. There you go, and then we can get all these clover leaves. I think that'll be enough, but let me just grab one, one or two more just in case. There you go, and there's one right there. Got it. There you go, we'll grab all the clover leaves that we can here. And you know what, I think I need to make a torch as well, right? Because it's getting a bit dark and it's getting hard to see. So can I make a torch right here? Let's go craft, and I'm sure we can probably craft one. Torch, we require two woven fiber for that as well. So there we go, now I can go ahead and craft myself a torch. There you go. Oh, how do I make a sprig bow? I need nat fuzz for a bow, but then I can craft it, so that's awesome. So let's get a torch. Excellent. And then I'm going to turn this on so we can see a little bit better. There you go. Now, now we can see, and things are looking a lot clearer now. So let's go and get some more plant fiber, because we're going to need it. There's some right there. So yeah, we're just, we're just going to walk up here and find all this plant fiber that we can. So I'm definitely going to need it. Something over there. What's this thing? Is that some kind of grass? No, it's just, it's just stuff we can't chop down, really. Okay, that's fine. As long as I'm finding plant fiber, though, I don't care. That's what I need. Plant fiber sprigs is the stuff that, that this literally is like the, 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 the gold of this game. Pretty much you need it for pretty much everything you craft. 
Save pellets. They're, yeah, they're, they're like the in-game gold. So yeah, when we sit, but when we when we do start start flying stuff, yeah, the uh, the enemies are going to start coming. So I need to be I need to be prepared for that. So that's why I'm storing it up on that rock because it's out the way. And then the ants can't get to it. There was a bug in the previous version where ants could actually get to stuff that was stored inside the, um, that was stored inside out of reach areas, and they could actually break into it anyway and get to it. But I think in this recent patch, they actually, I'm playing on 021. I think they patched it out. So yeah, that's a uh, that's a good thing. And see, this is why trail markers are so useful because then I can just come back to it. And there we go. Right. So there you go. <laughs> trail markers are godly. All right. Let's go back down here. So am I getting thirsty? Yeah, I'm getting really thirsty. But apparently there is a water source right here. And there it is. There's a water source just up here. So the way we can get to that is if we go and do do that, and it'll make it drop. And then we can just let it roll away that was refreshing. and drink it. There you go. And that gave us a good amount of water. So yeah, water you can find up in the grass. It will help you find the first one. And then after that, you're on your own pretty much. So yeah, let's go ahead back to our barrels then. Okay. And then we can craft this up here. Okay, so let's go and put the clover leaves on here. And then we just need loads of woven fiber, so let's go and craft that. So hopefully I've got enough for all of these now. Because yeah, they take quite a lot. There's only three, so yeah, I, I still don't have enough. But let's do what I can here. There you go. Yeah, I, I think it's four each actually. Yeah, see, it seems like it's four each, so that's quite a lot. But yeah, now I can access this one. So this one I can store then rocks and things like that, so I'll have Anything that's to do with like rocks and stuff can go in there. And then in the last one, so yeah, rocks and pebbles in this one, and then this one, I can have things that will be for, you know, to do with plants and things like that. But right now, I need more fibers, so let's go out and find some. My torch is going to start running out soon though, so i got to be a little bit careful. But it might be time to sleep soon. Now, I do want to go to sleep when it gets to nighttime. So yeah, we need to go ahead and sleep now, I think, because it is pretty much nighttime now. And yeah, you want to sleep at night and you don't want to go venturing at night. The main reason is because... Oh look, we got some apiaries there. Nice. The main reason is because um, if you don't sleep, spiders will come and get you. Um, spiders are a lot more common at night. So let's go and sleep. The rest of you, but I'm there we go. Then we wake up in the morning, but now we're hungry and thirsty. Good thing we had an aphid roast, right? Let's go and see where that went. So where's my aphid roast? There it is. One aphid roast. Let's go ahead and consume that. It makes us fuller and it's edible. Look at that. Aha! Just like a fruit pounder. And that, that filled me up completely. Look at that, that is awesome. Okay, so now it's morning. That's very cool, because that means we don't need our torch anymore. Because, yeah, the torches have limited durability. Um, so you have to you have to make wise use of them. They, they do run out, so you've got to be very careful. Okay, uh, there's a ladybug over there. Now, ladybugs are friendly. Just don't, just don't attack them. If you attack a ladybug, it will kill you. Trust ladybug me. Ladybug coming through. Yeah, let these ladybugs... They're friendly until you attack them. Then it then it will come and kill you. Oh, what's going on here? It's like uh, some ants are hunting a weevil. Okay. Oh, there's actually going to be some more sap on this maybe. Let's see if I can find some more. There's a pebble. Is there more sap up this out this thingy? More tree sap? Yes, there is. There's a bit right there. Oh, this seems to actually go quite high up. Okay. So yeah, there's a, a bit of a fallen twig here, and there's some sap. Uh, well, at least one piece of sap right there. I saw a couple more sprigs right here, so let's get those. Three sprigs there. Okay, that ladybug is uh, is getting a bit angry. Yeah, ladybugs don't attack you unless you attack them. So yeah, just be careful of them. Just be careful not to accidentally attack one, otherwise it will charge you, knock you down, and then yeah, you will you'll pretty much die. I think without armor it can one shot you, so you got to be very careful with that. Yeah, if you once you get better armor, though, you can start taking it on because the ladybug armor is apparently really good. It's not the best armor, there's apparently like, apparently you can get like spider armor and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Which is apparently the best one you can get, but ladybug armor is also meant to be very good for defensive players. I'm more of a defensive player, I prefer to kind of like try and block attacks and then strike back. But yeah, it's it's very difficult sometimes to, pr to predict what's going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep collecting pellets, plant fibers, because yeah, we're, we're going to need them as we go. Pellets, maybe not so much, but plant fibers, definitely. And I also want to see about looking for tree sap, so along all of these things, I always want to be checking for sap, because sap is kind of a nice resource to have, but it's not very common, so we've got to be a bit, bit careful with that. Okay, let's go and grab that, go grab that. Very good, there's some more there, and here. And there's a sprig there. Yeah, there we go. Get loads of plant fibers here now. That's awesome. This stuff, I think, does respawn, so it, it will grow back as you go around. 
so yeah, if you if you didn't get it the first time, it will probably be there again when you go back through. Because yeah, this I did get some sprigs here. Like, yeah, they're 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 back here. See, so the sprigs I got from here are, are back again. So they're not too uncommon, which is very nice. But yeah, I need to try and find some more gnats um, to get their fuzz. Because yeah, if I can make a bow, that'd be very nice. Um, okay, anything else down here? There's a couple of things here. There you go. Some clover there as well. Very good. Definitely want that. And more clover. Yeah, so some clover has dropped here, which I missed. So we definitely want to get more of it if we can. Well, I think by now our analyzer should be ready to do some more to do some more work, right? Yeah, should be. So let's go and just draw that here. I'm not too worried about it. So the ladybug's coming nearer my area. Where are the ants are coming over here now? So yeah, I think the ants are probably coming close. So let's get some more woven fiber. So let's craft that. So yeah, they're not the easiest things to use, but there we go. We'll just craft all these into woven fiber now. There you go. And now, I have a storage area. Excellent. So then in this one, I can store anything that's like to do with plant material. So any spare sprigs I have, um, and any spare clover, and any any sap, all that stuff can now go in here, right? That sounds that sounds like it's an idea. And yeah, any pretty much any anything that's plant-based can go in that one. Anything that's bugs, bug parts and food can go in that one, so if I want more food I can then go in there. There you go, so food can go in here now. Uh, but yeah, we are probably going to start seeing ants coming. And I've got like a spares one for any anything else that... I guess the other one can be for the dandelion tails, like anything that's not quite necessary. So yeah, these guys can go in here. There you go, so yeah, the dandelion tail, I thought we have a dandelion. Could be used to drift down from great heights, which is pretty nice. So yeah, that's cool. So that's everything done there. Um, I need to analyze a few things here. So let's go ahead and come into the analyzer. And I need to analyze. It was woven fiber I need to analyze, right? So yeah, let's go and let's go and pick up all the sprigs here. There's something, something around there. Okay, ladybugs coming through here. Okay. Okay, so let's go and analyze woven fiber. So I need to get the woven fiber I left in here, which is right here. So let's grab one of those. Put that back, and then I think I also need to analyze the weevil nose. So let's get that guy. Yeah, to get together things I need to analyze real quick. And I think that's it. So let's come down to the analyzer and let's go ahead and get that done. So this is going to unlock for us the so weevil nose. Let's analyze this one. Gives us raw science. Gives us gas masks. Very nice. And then this thing, the woven fiber, is going to give us. What does this give us? An acorn shovel and an eye patch. Okay, that's cool. So we can, we can make a yar. We can make an eye patch. Ha 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 ha. And an acorn shovel. That sounds good too. Okay. So, oh yeah, I, do, I can actually just jump up this rock. Okay. So it looks like now I'm wearing clay armor. I can actually jump it higher, maybe. I don't, I don't know if that's just because of the clay armor or what. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead then and grab some stuff that I'm going to need then to make a spear. Because I want to make a pebblet spear now. And let's go ahead and craft that. So we need something to attack with, and I think the pebble spear is going to be a good one to start with. So pebble spear requires just three plant fibers. Okay, that's fine. So I don't need woven fiber, I just need plant fiber here. So then we can dump that back in, and we can dump that back in, and the weevil nose can come back in here. So yeah, actually weevil nose is like more of a miscellaneous thing, isn't it? So that can kind of live in here. Excellent. There we go. And then we don't we do need one pebble. But we don't need... We don't need all these sprigs. Definitely. Yeah, we don't need all the sprigs, so... Okay, so if I shift-click, they will go. If you double-click, one goes, and if you shift-click, they all go. That's cool. Um, yep, that's good. And let's go ahead then and get some plant fibers, and then we can make ourselves a spear. That's going to be awesome. So, there's a sprig, but I need plant fibers. I'll keep collecting sprigs, though, because they're useful to have, and we do need them for a lot of things. There's one. That's two, and I think now I can do it. So if we go to craft, I think now uh, I need three. Okay, one more, and that's that. One more, and we are done. So can I find one? Right there. There you go, and I can get a spear. So status, craft, and a pebble spear. Nice. And that is going to be my attacking weapon. So this can now go up here. I don't want this in my hotbar. I want this in slot one. Excellent. Haha, -ha, I now have a spear. And I'm going to kill all who oppose me. So the next thing we're going to do is check out... Um, there's an area over here that I have to check out. Oh no, there's an aphid honeydew right here. Which is actually going to provide me with a bit of water. Because we, we are getting low on that. But yeah, apparently there's something that's blocking out the third laser. And that's up this way. 
So let's go and see what we can find up here. I do need to be on the lookout for extra water as well, because, yeah, that's so that I'm not really having access to you right now. Okay, there's a ladybug coming down this way, so i got to be careful not to stab it by accident. Because, you know, that would be, that'd be bad. Oh, and there's some tree set right there as well. Give me that. There you go. Yeah, give me, give me that stuff. I need that. Okay, we're coming into a drier area now, so we might have to be a little bit more careful as we go. That's fine. Yeah, pick up all the fibers on the way. And are we still on the path of the laser? Kind of, sort of. we got to go this way. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hear some zapping going on. And I hear... What appears to be very small creatures coming around here. So this ladybug's coming out this way as well. Alright, what is going on down here? It's a sprig right there. Something. Peblet. Grab it. Sprigs. Yeah, keep grabbing the sprigs and peblets. We'll need them. Okay. So there's some ants going around here. I'm still hearing some zapping, so let's go and see what's causing this zapping. Alright. So, oh, we got a ton of ants here. What is going on? Okay, uh oh. So we got some stuff attacking us, there's a mite. Okay, kill the mite. There we go. Get the mite fuzz for him. So what is going on with these ants? I have no idea. What if the ladybug's gonna attack him? Oh, you know what we could do? We could get this ladybug to kill all these ants. Hang on. Yeah, because if you attack an ant, they all come off you. Uh oh. I ain't get the ladybug. Oh god. Okay. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Go after the ants, go after the ants, go after the ants. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I didn't mean to stab Ladybug, I was gonna make it stab the ants. Okay, I think it's attacking all the ants now though. Yeah it is. It's attacking all the it's attacking all the ants. Oh my god. It's gonna destroy these ants. Yeah, I didn't hey think there, I didn't think the ladybug would actually be able to attack me while I was on top of it. That's insane. Is it coming back out to me now? Oh, the ape is coming back for a fight. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, that. that. I wonder if these ants will kill the ladybug. If it does, that'd be awesome. Oh, there goes the worker ant. Okay, the ladybug is losing health. Can I kill it from here? Okay, oh, it's stunned. Okay, go. There you go. Okay, is it after me again? No, it's not. Okay, these ants are going to kill the ladybug for me. Alright. Let's go up here. Oh! There we go, we can kill this thing. Okay. There we go. Oh man, this is going to be fun. We can, we're actually going to be able to kill this thing. Hopefully it's not going to turn on me at any moment. Okay, keep going. Okay, yeah, we, we can kill this ladybug. Come on, we can do it. Come on, we can do it. Okay. We've almost got this thing dead. Oh god, it's going back to me. Oh god, okay. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm not this way. I'm not this way. Totally not. Okay. Okay, can we do it? Uh-oh. I just know the ends. I got this down there. Oh god, that's bad. No, I stabbed none. Okay, that's bad. Okay, we're not gonna be able to kill these things. Okay, just run, just run, just run, just run. Just know I can fight all these ants. Okay. Oh god! Okay, run, 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 run. I have like no health to kill these things. Okay, run, 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 run. Uh, right, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get away. Oh god, these guys are still going. Oh god. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, oh god. Go on. Kill it, kill it! Okay, they're running away, they're running away. Okay. <sighs> okay, they, they don't want to keep biting me. Okay, I can do it. Alright, yeah, yeah, they're, they're weak and they're, they're getting out of it now. Okay, there's one down. Uh oh. Okay, go on then. Right now, gotcha. Gotcha, thank you. Okay, oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's he's being weakened. I'm 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 about to die. Got him. Is that it? Okay. Right, we killed all the ants. 
Is Ladybug still going? <laughs> yeah, the, lady, the Ladybug. I think Ladybug's on the run. No, I, I shouldn't risk it. I shouldn't risk it. I'm, I'm so low health right now. I should not risk it. <laughs> oh man, we had a we had a close encounter there. But we got some we got some new um, ant parts and stuff. That's cool. So we should probably analyze those. I was hoping to kill the ladybug. But yeah, I accidentally like, angered all the ants, which is not good because um, that means soldier ants are going to start coming out, uh, which is a very bad thing. But we did get an ant part, so we can analyze that. What do we get with this? This gives us uh, a normal chair and an ant club. All right. That sounds good. So let's close that. So a normal chair and an ant club. Okay, so yeah, the, the ants aren't too bad, but yeah, we definitely definitely need to be watching our health and everything here. Okay, so I think we should probably eat one of the roasts, because that heals us, I think. So let's go and do that. Let's get some food here. Hopefully they've not... Ah, oh, they spoiled. Okay. So I guess we're going to eat some mushrooms here, just to get my passive healing back. There you go. That'll give me some passive healing. Let's get this thing back out. Okay, so yeah, we killed the killed those guys. Okay, so I don't, actually don't want that. So just drop drop that thing. There you go. Drop it down here. Right, let's keep going. How much space have I got left? I got I got enough space. That's fine. Let me put this up here. All right, so we're good. We got we got enough space. No more attacking more ladybugs. Yeah, I was, I was kind of hoping the ladybug would be able to kill all the ants, but. No dice there, unfortunately. So what's going on here? So this ladybug's now going around. Okay, let's let, let's let's not anger the ladybug anymore. Let's let's not let's not do that, right? Is there any more water around here? Let me kind of look up in the grass and see. I don't see any more here, honestly. Which is kind of a shame because I really need some. There's a tree branch over here. There's a there's a more sap on this thing. Yeah, there is. Hang on. Jump over to here. There you go. Got it. There's some sap right there. Let's grab that. We need that later to make some good stuff. Uh, grab that one as well. Is there any more down the end? Yes, there is. Thank you very much. All right, now we're in the dry area again, though, so we've got to be a bit careful. Uh, let's just more sap. Excellent. Okay, let's let's go up here because maybe actually maybe there's something up here that we can find. Okay, I can't walk on that bit. Okay, let's be a little bit cautious here because I don't know what's up here. I'm definitely in something big. I hear something big up here, but I can't walk up this branch, it's too steep. So let's go and see. So how's my health looking? Health is okay, water is really low though, so we're going to start taking damage in a bit. And that's not going to be good. Because I don't need to be taking damage. I'm taking enough damage today. Alright. So there is this guy. Got him, thank you. There's this guy here. Got him. Thank you. Right, and there's a load of other mites down here as well, I think. So let's just drop in. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright, so let's back up here. Okay, so there's a mite down here somewhere. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so no more mites here? Nope, we're good. Okay. Did it right so far. So hopefully we can get these other lasers unlocked today. That'd be nice. There are more ants around here though, so... They still going after this ladybug? Oh, there's two ladybugs now. So this ladybug is taking a lot of damage. Oh man, look, free ant. Free ant, let's get, let's get all these guys. Get all these dead ants. Because that's free ant parts we can use later. Okay, so the ladybugs are now... No longer going for me. Okay. Oh man, look, these lady, these ladybugs are gonna kill this ant. God, do it, do it. Oh, ladybug can't get, ladybug can't get around the ant. That's insane. Okay, grab that, grab that. They've been destroying this. There you go. What else did I get from that? Um, I got, oh, I got an ant head as well. Nice. Should probably analyze that soon. Oh man, these these guys are just completely. Destroy these ladybugs. Well, they're trying to destroy ladybugs, I guess, but the ants are actually losing. So that just shows you how much more powerful the ladybugs are. Alright, so what's going on here? Okay, perfect block. Gotcha. Thank you. Are there more coming? More mites? We are going to need a lot of mite fuzz anyway, so that's the thing. Okay. Okay, oh wow, there you go. Get that one. Gotcha. I think there's another one around here somewhere. 
Where are you? I hear you. Okay, oh, you're right there. Are you in the ground? Yeah, I think he's trapped on the ground. Okay, so he can't get to me here. So let's go ahead and get this guy. Boom! Thank you. Alright, let's turn our torch on now, and then we can go into this little tunnel. Okay, so what's this? Nothing there. Okay, so you. Boom! Oh, I totally missed you. A bit higher. Thank you. Alright. So more mice are coming. Oh, there's one trapped here. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay, there's another. I think they're getting trapped on the ground. Yeah, it sounds like it. I think they're trapped in the ground. Okay. Okay, got that one. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Gotcha! Oh, I got two in one. Look at that. Now you get one and two. Got him! And that has now powered up the laser again. Very cool. And look, there's all these things here as well. So these are slime stalks, which are actually very useful as a light source. So that's pretty cool. Let's go and grab all these as well. So yeah, we do have some stuff that's like glitching into the ground a bit. Let's go and get those. And then there's also this stuff here, which is quartzite. Now quartzite is very good because you can use that to repair your tools, which I'm definitely going to want. So let's go and smash this up. So three hits later, and there we go. There we go. So yeah, I'm probably going to start to take damage soon because my water now is at zero. So that's something I've got to watch out for. I guess get all the quartzite here that we can, pick all of it up, and then we can use that to analyze some stuff. There you go, there's another load here. Okay, so you get all the quartzite from this cave, because quartzite is actually very valuable. Um, you don't want to use it for some things, you just want to use it to repair stuff, because I don't think it's really used in anything else. Um, I actually no, I tell you, I think it's used in smoothies, but it's not very good what the smoothie does. <laughs> so it's a uh, oh. So there's something burying itself underground here. We'll have to come back for that. So let's go ahead and grab this. I go grab all the quartzite from here, because I'm sure we're going to need that soon. Uh, any more slime stalks around the area? Nothing there. And uh, my torch is about to go out, isn't it? Yeah, not not long till it goes out. So, let's see, is there anything else down here? Nope, there is nothing else down in this area right now. Okay, so that's pretty much everything down here. Uh, oh wait, there's more quartzite right there, so let's just grab this and smash it. Very good. Excellent, and let's go ahead and grab all the all the bits of quartzite left over, and we should be good. So there's a bit right there. Is that a bit over there as well? Nope. Okay, let's just make sure we've not missed any. Because yeah, like I said, quartzite is very valuable. We definitely want to keep that. Let's grab those as well. Excellent. I think that is everything. So let's get out of here before my torch um, inevitably turns itself off. Because yeah, I can see, I can already see it getting dimmer. Uh, so yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, so the, yeah, there is a mite trapped under the ground here, but I can't do anything about that, so best just to get on out of here. And we're gonna head back to we're gonna head back to the first of all, we'll head back home, analyze some stuff, then we'll head back to where that laser thingy is. And we'll go from there. So yeah, let's head back directly home first, because this is an area we haven't really explored over. So you might find something we might find some water, because yeah, as you can see, I am suffering right now. Like water wise, I'm suffering. I could drink the dirty water, but I think that has a negative impact on you. Um, but maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do. It, I think. So I let's just slurp it. This, but this yeah. Is bad. So I think this does damage your. It, it it does damage your health a bit, but it's better than nothing. And I can always eat to restore that. So there you go. So yeah. There we go. So yeah. Now I got. Now I got stomach aches. Which is not good, and now I'm super hungry. So yeah, that does um, that does pretty much make you lose hunger. But luckily for me, look, there is a mushroom tr a mushroom right here. Oh, my inventory's full. I can't take it. Dang it. Okay, so never mind then. Let's go back home and get some stuff sorted, and then I should be able to go ahead and probably eat something when I get back. So let's get all the plant fibers I can and all the pellets I can while I'm going. Let's analyze all the stuff we can while we're back here. Now my inventory is full, so let's go and do some analyzing. So I can now analyze... what's this? Oh, ant mandibles, nice! Analyze this thing. So that thing is going to give me sap collectors, stuffed soldier ant, and a soldier ant head mount. Oh, did they kill a soldier ant? I think they did! Oh, that's awesome! And then we've got an ant head. What can that give me? The ant head is going to give me ant worker head mount. 
Okay, and what do we get here? What's this? An acid gland. I think they did kill a soldier ant. Yeah, they did. That's awesome. Okay, and we got bug rubber. Okay, nice. Okay, that's so cool. Guys, those ladybugs killed a soldier ant for us then. So there, what, there was a soldier ant out fighting that ladybug? And those ladybugs went and freaking killed it. That is amazing. You, you guys don't understand how good that is. That gives me access then. Um, I think that gives me access to the ant armor already. Which is going to be really handy. So yeah, if we pit the bugs against each other, that is awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some stuff away. So let's go ahead and put my quartzite in here. I need to, I need to hang on, I should have some mushrooms in here I can I can chow down on. Um, yeah, I do. So let's go ahead and put my mite fuzz in here. Uh, yeah, so mite fuzz and bug parts can go... No, that's, not, that's my favorite one. So uh, let's have my bug parts in here real quick. So let's go and store those. So ant parts right there, the mandibles. And this, um, yeah, mite, mite fuzz is a bug part, isn't it, really? Um, so we should probably store it with those. Yeah, take the, take the mite and that fuzz. And now I can take the mushrooms as well. And now I can eat those, there we go. Yeah, so I, I had to kind of eat those. There you go. So let's eat a few of those. There you go. Yeah, my health is really low now because I've been, uh, unfortunately suffering so acid glands need to go in the bug parts box as well quartzite can all go in here we got a ton of quartzite which is awesome so these guys can all go in here slime stalks can go in my plant matter box so an extra sap look at that excellent look at that we got a ton of resources now that is so cool i'm i'm so i'm so glad we have done so well for this first episode guys that is really cool all right, and that can all go in there. Excellent. So yeah, guys, we've already stockpiled a ton of stuff, and I think in the next episode we might be able to get ourselves the ant armor set, which is going to be very handy for um, lifting and also to make the ants not notice us, which is really good because that means we can actually go into ant hills and explore them without actually being attacked by ants, which is really, really nice. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, so let's go ahead then and finish off the last mission for this episode and that's going to be investigating the uh, the strange machine over there now that all the lasers are charged up so let's go ahead and do that and see what we can find over here so let's see now let's come back over here jump on up here and let's press here we go the activate button all right guys here we go and i think this is it we can enlarge ourselves and get out of here let's go and boom! Oh yes. Come on, make me grow, make me grow. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Nope, uh -oh. everything's fried, everything's exploding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh! Um, okay, well, something blew up at the tree. Did you hear something that sounded like a big far off explosion? Yes, I did. Uh-oh. Well guys, there was a big far off explosion over at the oak tree. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and have to investigate what that actually is. However, before I end off the episode, there is one more task I want to complete. And um, now that that explosion has taken place, there is um, what is known as raw science in the area. So what raw science does um, is it's the stuff you spend to get new perks and things like that. So what I want to do is before I end off the episode is I want to go back to those mite caves real quick. And the reason I want to do that is because there is, I believe, some raw science in the mite caves. Um, it's going to be very dark, um, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. But yeah, I think if we can get back to the cave and get the raw science from that cave, it's going to be very, very cool. So let's go ahead and head back this way and try and find the end. I should have set a trail marker already, but there you go. Could have, would have, should have, but did not. So maybe that's what I will do in just a sec. So yeah, here it is. Yeah, let's go and build a trail marker for right here, because I think that's going to be a very nice idea. Oh, there's another mate somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. Gotcha. There you go, kill that guy. Is there another one? No, it's an aphid. Oh, and there's some trees out there too. Uh, let's go and get the tree set real quick, because that's actually very handy. That leads us up to this higher section, but other than that, nothing too useful down here. Let's go and set a trail marker right here for the mite caves. Um, so let's go do that. So a trail marker right here, and you can go there. Okay. And then what do we need for that? Clover leaf. Let's see if we need some. And we need sprig, plant fiber, and clover leaf. Okay, so we can get a sprig right there. I think we need a couple of sprigs to make this work. Unfortunately, our torch is out now as well, so I will have to make a new one because it's getting real dark. But here's some flavor. 
There you go, get those. And that should be enough to make myself the trail marker. Hopefully that's going to be enough to make myself the trail marker. I need one more plant fiber and one more sprig. Of course I do. And there, luckily there is dried grass here though, so if we do need some to make a torch, we should. Actually, let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, make ourselves a... An extra thing. Oh, if, I, if, if only I could see the resources, because they have all... Just doing this some dry grass. Okay, can I make a torch real quick? Because um, it's getting really dark now. Torch, I need... More wave and fire. Yeah, okay, I, I still need more wave and fire to do that. And now it's getting really dark as well, so this isn't... Uh, this is not ideal. Okay, well, each blade of grass gives me some fibre, right? So yeah, let's, let's go and chop down some grass real quick, so we can do two together here. There you go. Chop those down. And chop those down. There we go. There you go. So now I can get um, a woven fire for the torch. So yeah, the torch, unfortunately... I wish the torch didn't run out so quickly, but unfortunately it does. So I need two woven fiber. I need dry grass. I need one more dry grass. And then I need a spring as well. So, Oh man, it's super dark now. It's super duper dark. But there's a sprig. And yeah, I think literally all I need now... Yeah, all I need now is... Oh, I need two sprigs for the torch as well. Damn, that's expensive. Uh, oh, there's more mushrooms here though. So I could take those and eat those, because I will need those. I'm not picky. So let's go and eat this as well, because that will start me passively healing too. There you go. That's awesome. But yeah, I need now more dry grass and another sprig. Oh, it's so dark here now. I, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. This is meant to be something really quick to end off the episode, but yeah, now it's now it's night time and I'm scared. I'm scared. So yeah, once once it's night time, it's when um, it's when the spiders come out to hunt and everything, and that's not let, let's just say not pleasant. See so you know what? We're gonna say sod it, and we're gonna run home because right now I don't think we want to be caught out. With spiders, so let's go ahead and make our way here, and we're gonna sleep. I can't be the only one feeling tired. All right, guys. Well, hit the hay. I guess we'll have to check out what I was gonna do in the next episode because, yeah, I'm uh, pretty much out of time for this one. But yeah, I wanted I wanted to show you the raw science thing, but there'll be time for that in the next episode, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do it then. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of Grounded. I'll have everything ready for the next episode, so we can just go in the cave and I can show you what the raw science stuff is, and then we'll go from there. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!